This is a really simple strategy that'll help you get connector control on every gun round on your T side. And the best part is it only really requires one player and then someone has to drop them a single Molotov and that's it. So to start off here, your connector player is gonna be instantly dropping down into connector and they're just gonna have their Molotov out. So they're gonna come down and they're gonna Molotov off the stairs like this. And all this is gonna do is prevent a player from instantly peeking into connector and taking the fight on you. And while that's happening, one of your A players is gonna come over and they're gonna just go up against this wall and then aim at this little electrical thing right here and drop their Molotov. And that's just a lineup to make sure that the Molotov always falls down the ladder because it'll make this a bit quicker. So after your connector player throws the Molotov on the stairs here, the next thing they're gonna do is grab that second Molotov and they're gonna come up to around this pipe. So anywhere in this area is fine. And once you're here, you're gonna be aiming at the top of the stairs and you're gonna run until you get to this line and then you just jump through. So that looks like this. And all that's gonna do is Molotov off the next platform on the stairs. And the only angle that the CTs can be playing occasionally with this Molotov is gonna be up here. Sometimes it'll spread and actually hit them, other times it won't. So you wanna keep in mind that they could be at this angle. So once you've thrown that second Molotov that lands on the platform up here, you're able to freely peek these angles and take these fights knowing that no one can be swinging off the stairs. And I would recommend coming in, clearing it like this while the Molotov is going, and then you can clear the top of the stairs just in case the Molotov didn't spread here. You'll be able to check for anybody who's playing the top of the staircase. And then you can come around while the Molotov is still going. And the way that this angle works here, so you can jiggle this and not be exposed to the top here. So as long as you peek this really tight, that guy at the top can't see you. So you can clear this angle first in case anybody's hiding in this corner. And then you can come around and clear this. And something you'll see occasionally too, is once a player takes full connector control like this, if this Molotov is still going, they'll actually throw a nade up here as well. And occasionally what that will do is if someone is playing up here on something like this angle, holding for the push or just on the staircase here, that's gonna tag them and immediately give you the information that the player is here. One more thing to note, is occasionally if you're playing against a good team, what they'll do is at the beginning of the round, they're gonna nade door here for connector from somewhere around this area, and they're gonna spam down connector. The other thing that they'll do sometimes is they'll have people push short, and then they'll be watching the cross here so you can't actually scale up connector. So if that happens, the one grenade you wanna add to this is a smoke grenade, which is just gonna block off the doorway so that you can freely move up connector. So the way you can do that is just somewhere back in this area, you aim around here, and you just run and throw. And that's just gonna bounce here and block the doorway. So now when you're clearing this, you don't actually have to worry about somebody that's in short or somebody that's boosted up here. You do have to be careful of the spam. And if they are spamming down connector, the better side to be on is gonna be this left side as it's a lot more difficult to hit with the spam. Whereas if you're on the right side, it's gonna be really easy to get spammed through the wood panel here. So that's it for this strategy. I hope you found it useful and I hope you use it in your next game. Thanks for watching and see you next time.